Vip. So this is a prototype bike I'm working on, and this one has the Maxim Plus 120 here. Um, it also has the Harman 32 BMS and a 24 cell LFD battery, so with 80 volts fully charged. Um, would ideally have a bit more voltage, but that's what we had on this one. We also tried it on the Suzuki, but uh, with that gear ratio, even at 750 amps, you cannot keep the front wheel down, so we needed something different to try to push the full current. And the difference here is that uh, we don't have a double slit gearbox, so we have only stock in the front and in the back. And this one, I think it's 1 to 5.5 or so in gear ratio, so then you can have a lot more torque on the motor shaft without the front wheel lifting on it. So the current is at 2000 amps. We also have the headlight connected to the 12 watt output of the Maxim, and we can control it from the dash, so you can see even the light symbol up here. But the rest of the harness is not connected yet, and we also have an encoder on the motor, so we'll give it a try. Not bad. I think it tries to pull the front wheel up. So we've reached uh, a bit over 1000 amps and uh, about 29 kilowatts, which is a bit, a lot less actually than they could get out from the maximum in this setup. But with this motor, with the amount of inductance it has, it, you cannot really push more power. So you would even reach the same number with the regular maximum at 600 face amps. But uh, with the plus, you get a lot more torque in the very beginning. And uh, yeah, it runs really smooth. Um, all the way from zero up to the speed I reached, which apparently was uh, 54 kilometers an hour there. And uh, yeah, runs well. And uh, I think it could maybe even do more than a thousand amps because it's not really getting warm. And if you go by the MOSFET rating, which I think many other people go, it's rated at over 2000 amps if you just take the um, current rating of each MOSFET and multiply it by the number of MOSFETs, so we are quite conservative in the power rating of the maximum pass.